the ranking member has said that the LWCF is not funded by taxpayer dollars but by fees charged to industry for the extraction of oil and gas from public lands. Congress created the LWCF uh, 45 years ago on the principle that some funds garnered from extraction of resources should be devoted to the preservation of other resources, in fact, protecting permanently important lands and waters and access to recreation for all Americans. The LWCF is the only environmental preservation program in the federal government that is fully offset. And under the LWCF, polluters, not taxpayers, pay to protect the environment. So cutting this program doesn't save taxpayer jobs, uh, dollars, it robs taxpayers of the returns. And actually, uh, as in so many things in this continuing resolution, uh, it does away with jobs. It's my belief that the LWCF should be fully funded at the authorized level of $900 million, and the stateside program should receive at least $200 million to match state funds. This is what the President requested in his fiscal year 2012 budget, and I think that's a fair proposal. The draconian continuing resolution in front of us not only would zero out the stateside portion, of the LWCF, it would cut the LWCF overall program to the lowest level in its history, uh, ending much needed balance between resource extraction and resource conservation. We should reject soundly this amendment. The budget before us and this continuing resolution would really turn back the clock on efforts to preserve open spaces. The stateside portion of LWCF, which I helped revive in one of my first acts when I came to this Congress, through its matching grants has saved over 73,000 acres in my state of New Jersey. And in our 12th district, which I have the privilege to represent, uh, we've received tens of millions of dollars in stateside LWCF funding. Every family that, vet, that visits Veterans Park in Mercer County or the Sickles Recreation Area in, Shrew, in the borough of Shrewsbury or Colonial Lake Playground in, in, in Lawrence Township, to name a few of the hundreds of LWCF projects, has benefited directly from this successful program. Preserving open space is more than an environmental issue. It really is a quality of life issue. It's not about just preserving beautiful vistas. It's about preserving nature's way of cleansing herself. It is about providing recreation and parks. It is particularly important for states east of the Mississippi. But it is no less important for states, all 50 states. Um, Every state has positive stories to tell about LWCF. Voters consistently have supported funding open space preservation. Uh, recent polling found that 86% of Americans are supportive of reinvesting funds from offshore drilling fees to land and water protection. President Johnson said, if future generations are to remember us more with gratitude than sorrow. We must achieve more than just the miracles of technology. We must also leave them a glimpse of the world as it was created, not just as it looks when we get through with it. The Land and Water Conservation Fund is one of the few government programs that really benefits all Americans, does not use taxpayer dollars, receives the overwhelming support of the nation. I ask my colleagues to defeat this amendment and I yield back my time. Gentleman yields back, who seeks recognition. Gentleman from Idaho, for what purpose do you rise? Move to strike the last word. Gentleman is recognized for five Thank minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, 